this don't happen to me every day. what going on welcome to intel with chantel if you're new here welcome if you're not new and you're a returning subscriber welcome back please be sure to like subscribe and comment down below so that you can get to know me and i can get the honor of getting to know you with that being said like me and my girlfriend say when we really want to talk about something let me get done in our it. Today, guys, it's all about the sexy date night fragrances. We know Valentine's Day is right on the horizon, so this will be coming in right on time. So, without further ado, let's see what fragrances will check that box for a night out on the town. First up, we have none other than Rosendo Matu number no. 6. This fragrance is so so sexy this fragrance is powdery it's vanilla it's floral it's fruity it's amber it's sweet this is a classic sexy fragrance this fragrance gives me so many compliments when i wear this this puts me above the rest we have notes of jasmine sandblock exotic fruits floral notes coconut, green accords, middle note of sandalwood, spicy notes, and base notes of white musk, vanilla, and amber. Guys, this fragrance is a blended to perfection. It is just the right amount of spicy, just the amount, right amount of sweet, just the right amount of vanilla. I mean everything it is so sexy on the bottle it states jasmine sandalwood and oriental musk this is one that you definitely should get a try even if you don't want to buy the whole bottle i would say definitely get a sample of this fragrance i have it in number three five and six and by far number six is my favorite 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 it gets the job done this is a fragrance that will guarantee you compliments sexy date night for send them to number six next up we have nisha nay hundred silent ways this fragrance is amazing this is one that I think is definitely a safe blind buy. This is one that everybody I think will love. This has white floral, powdery, tuberose. It's sweet, it's fruity, it's citrusy, but it's blended so well. Here guys, we have top notes of tuberose, peach, mandarin orange, middle notes of gardenia, jasmine and orris, and base notes of vanilla, sandalwood, and vetiver. The tuberose in this fragrance is so good. This one, I think, is one of my, my fragrances that consist of tuberose that I like the best. I really, really do. This is amazing. Projection, 10 out of 10. Longevity, 10 out of 10. This is a safe blind buy. But if you don't want a blind buy, this is another one that you could buy you a sample and see how you like it, see how it performs on your skin. But this one, date night, sexy night, night out on the town, this is a definite staple. And this is one that will always be in my collection. Nishane, 100 Silent Ways. Now, Next, we have Scandal by Night Intense. This one, I'm not even going to say that I have the notes for because I don't. This one is a discontinued fragrance. But this fragrance is so, so sexy. It's super sweet. When I smell this fragrance, I get tuberose. I get 
honey. This fragrance is, it's hard to describe. It, it's hard to describe. It's super sweet in the bottle and I feel like it, it, it gets even sweeter on my skin. I wore this to a wedding a couple of months ago and this got me so many compliments. Now, like I said, it is discontinued so it might be hard to find, but if you can find it at a reasonable price, reasonable price, I would say definitely grab it. Most definitely. Get this one in your collection. This one is definitely a crowd pleaser. Now, don't wear this in the heat. It's beautiful for the winter time, like this kind of weather, spring weather, but I think when it gets hot, it is so sweet that it can choke you out and become a little nauseating. But outside of that, Scandal by Night, Intense, definitely sexy date night fragrance. Next up, we have Bond Number no. 9 Nomad. This fragrance, like words cannot describe this fragrance for me. It, it, it just cannot. This fragrance is rose. It's oud. It's sweet. It's floral. It's powdery. It's aquatic. I mean, this is blended to perfection. This have top notes of pear, quince, black currant, middle notes of rose, Agarwood, orris, violet leaves, and base notes of amber, vanilla, and sandalwood. This fragrance was a love at first spray for me. This one is one that, like, once my bottle gets three quarters of the way, I will definitely be reading up. I don't even want to take the chance that I'll ever be out of this fragrance. This is so good. This fragrance put me in my Usher voice. You ruined it for everybody. No man ruined it for everybody. <laughs> no guys, I'm just playing. But no, I'm serious. Like, ever since I got this fragrance, I'll be looking at my other fragrances like, bye bye, good riddance for the last time. But no, okay guys, as you can see, I love to have fun with my fragrances. But Nomad, I, 10 out of 10. Scent Profile, 10 out of 10. Projection, 10 out of 10. Siage, 10 out of 10. This is one definitely, I would say, pick up. Now, I would not say it's a, it's a safe blind buy. I would not say that because if you're not somebody that's fan of rose or oud, you might not like this. But if you're someone that loves oud and rose, this is a definite hit. And I, th this smells amazing on a female, but I'm telling you, this will smell also amazing on a man. This is just it. Like I said, love at first sniff. I want to put this fragrance on every single day and I work from home so you know that's bad right but I love this so much I would and could wear this every single day every single day but I'm gonna move on because I could talk about this all day long because that is how much I love the juice in this bottle that's bond number nine nomad next up we have another sexy fragrance and that's none other than Mason Francis Kirkajan aka MFK Oud Satin Mood. This fragrance I think is one of the fragrances that is blended to perfection. Perfection. I think someone that's just starting out or just like an oud, this is a great start. As you can see, I have a sample of this fragrance. This is my second sample. So when I tell you test things out and get a sample, I am not telling you anything that I would not do or do not do myself, especially since the ticket price on this 
is three plus, okay? 300 plus. So I would say this is one, get a sample of this fragrance. Amazing, amazing. This is one that's another straight down the middle, unisex, smells amazing on a female, but superb on a man. This is one of these fragrances that you and babe could share. I don't know if you will want to share it, but if you do, you can share this fragrance. This fragrance projection, 10 out of 10. Longevity, 10 out of 10. Siage, 10 out of 10. This one is another one that will definitely be a staple in my collection. And I'll definitely be buying a big bottle. Like this is my second sample, like I stated before. After this is gone, I'm definitely just going to take the plunge and buy a big bottle because I love it that much and it's honestly worth it. But if you don't want to take the plunge, I also have a dupe for you. Like I said before, I love a good dupe. I don't have no problem with a dupe that can save me some coins. And this is Bacat Satin Oud. Now, this fragrance is a great dupe. I would say eight and a half out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten. And I think the longer that this fragrance sits, the closer to the original it will get. Because once fragrances start to sit for a while and the juices be juicing and doing what they be doing, I think that the fragrance just gets better over time. This one has the oud notes, the powdery notes, the rose, the vanilla. This is an amazing alternative. Amazing. Original, this size bottle will run you, I think it's, if I'm not mistaken, $3.95. This one, $16.95 on Amazon. Used to be $40. I don't know if I just got it at the right time, but when I got it, $16.95. And when I tell you it's an 8.5 to a 9 exact dupe of the original version, it will do the job. If you do not want to, to pull the plunge, but you the plunge, but you still want that oud satin mood MFK vibe, Bacat will definitely get you there. Check them out. Great dude. Last but certainly not least, I'm going to throw in something that's for the men. Bond number nine, financial district. I first smelled this fragrance in Neiman Marcus. I went to the bond counter. I wanted to see if there's anything I wanted to pick up. I smelled a couple stuff and I was like, eh, it's okay. Yeah, all right. Sales associate said, I think I have something you would like. And she pulled this out. And when I tell you this is so beautiful, yes. It leans a little masculine, so if you're not into masculine fragrances, you might not like it. But I loved it at first sniff. This is fresh. It's citrusy. It's woody. It's musky. It's, it's vanilla. It's spicy. Here we have top notes of black pepper, bergamot, mandarin orange, middle notes of lotus and nutmeg, and base notes of musk, cedar, and vanilla. You guys, this smells great. Honestly, I thought Babe would have hate this fragrance, right? I bought it for me. I was like, okay, I know he's going to hate this fragrance because, I don't know, his taste be subject sometimes, guys. I'm just saying. But I gave him a spray. I said, Babe, smell this. He said, that smells good. I was like, you like that? He was like, yes, that smells good. And it's been on his dresser ever since. This smells so grand to me. It's like you're not going to smell like anything else. And they named it the correct thing. Financial district. This smells like money. A man with money. A man who have lots of financial responsibilities. And I'm not talking about the ones who in child support. 
not, not, not that kind. I'm talking about the businessmen, the CEOs, entrepreneurs, baby, the ones that got it together. This right here is someone who got their stuff together. Like, I am so excited, even though he stole it from me. I am so excited that he loves it because this is what I want him to smell like. Financial District, bond number nine, 10 out of 10. Projection, sillage, longevity, 10 out of 10. So if you want to smell amazing, sexy date night, but you also want your partner to smell amazing, sexy date night, give this one a try. That's bond number nine, Financial District. Well guys, that brings us to the end of our sexy date night fragrances. I hope you'll give some of my recommendation a try. And if you do, leave me a comment down below and tell me how you like it. Or if you have a sexy date night fragrance that I should try that I didn't mention, please link it down below because I would love to give your fragrance a try. Remember guys, life is a journey. Some days can be better than some, but let's continue to appreciate the things that we have while we strive to acquire the things that we desire. See you on our next video. Bye. But this don't happen to me every day.